Hi, I'm Terry from Venom Biscuits Boarding and Training Facility. This is Crypto. I mean, he's done really, really good. Had a good start on him with all his healing and his, his stays and his recall. I've taught him the hand signal to sit. Uh, the sit was the hand signal like this. Stay, put the hand in his face like that, tell him to stay. Come, you bring your hand to your chest as you tell him to come. Down, I put my fingers right to the ground, actually touch the ground when I tell him to down. Okay, we'll go through all these exercises with the hand signals as well, so we'll, we'll be able to demonstrate that. When we return, we're gonna start out with a heel unleash. Okay, through all these exercises, I've worked with a dog at my left side. If you try to do it on the right side at home, he, he may try to cross to the left side. I would stick to the left side all the time. Anybody that walks him, put him on the left side. Um, I've got just a six foot leash, nothing, uh, just any six foot leash. I'm also using a prong collar. I don't know if you can see this. It works really, really good. Off leash, <laughs> I notice his recall when you call him. His off leash is not very good, but the, the, what I've been working on and what I have to get working really well before we even think about off leash is the on leash. So everything we've done here, all these exercises are on the leash. We're gonna start out with a heel on leash. We've got him in the sit, good boy. Put, start out with him in a sit and start walking, tell him to heel. He should walk right beside you. Don't drag him around like this. Anybody can pull their dog around, around like that. It's just gonna teach him to pull. <clears throat> so give him a little bit of leash. It's loose like that. As you stop, he should stop. Hopefully sit. And we'll see how he does. You ready, Grip? Let's go. Heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. As you stop, he automatically sits. Good boy. Come on, Crip. Excellent. Praise your dog. Good boy. Okay, this is going to be Crip's sit stay. Again, he's already sitting, but if he wasn't, you just tell him to sit and or give him the hand signal. He listens to both very well. Then you're going to tell him to stay. Walk out to the end of your leash. Reinforcing the word stay. Walk slowly so he doesn't try to follow you. You're going to stay out there for about three or five seconds. You can work up to a lot longer lengths of time and longer distances later on down the road. After he gets to really good for you at this distance first. Okay, sit, stay, 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 stay. Don't release him, stay. Until you get all the way back, stay. And then you release him. Good boy, three. Hey, this is going to be Crips down, stay. Again, you put him at a sit at your left side. You're going to turn and face him. You're going to put your finger right to the ground as you tell him to down. If you have to tell him any more than twice, grab the leash where it hooks to the collar and gently pull him to the ground as you tell him a third time. But don't tell him over and over and over because he's learning every time he does that, he's breaking the command. And that's not okay. Okay, ready, Crip? Down. Stay. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Chris. Good boy. Exercise. Okay. This is going to be his recall. Again, he's sitting at your left side. Tell him to stay. Walk to the end of your leash and then bring your hand to your chest as you tell him to come. He should come and hopefully sit at your feet, but as long as he comes to you, stay. Stay. Crypto, come. A little closer. Come on, Crypto, come. That's a good boy. Exercise finished. Praise your dog. Okay, Crypto's done very, very good. No exception to the breed. They're very smart. Um, one thing that he is here for is his jumping, one of the big things, and I've worked very, very hard at that. He's good with me. He's good with anybody that i put him in contact with so far, which isn't many, but, uh, you know, just a handful of us. And what it is, when he gets really excited and he hasn't seen you in a while, when he comes running up to you, bend down like this and, and pet him, you know, hold him down a little bit, pet him so all four feet are on the ground, and tell him off, the words are off, down means to lay down, don't forget. So, no jump or off. I've been using the words off. That way, he knows what that means. If you have him on this leash and this collar, you can really, really 
he'll listen much better. When he goes to jump on anybody, it's just a pull and release. You can pull it pretty good, pull and release. And it's uh, so just a real quick snap and tell him off and he'll stop. He listens very good to this collar. I recommend, I'm gonna see when you pick him up if I can talk you into getting this collar if you don't already have it. Cause a big breed dog listens to this collar so much better. But he's done really, really good. And his jumping, as long as you keep him down like this and hold him, give him all of his attention with him down, all four feet on the ground, use this collar and leash if he's real bad. If you know that somebody's coming, you got him on a leash, you can step on the leash, give him a little bit of slack. When he goes to jump, it's only gonna pull that collar tight and he'll only do it a couple times and he'll learn every time he jumps, it's gonna get real quick and it releases real quick as soon as he stops. So it works really good. If everybody that comes in contact with him does this with the jumping, it'll be done. He already doesn't, he, he never jumps on me, ever. It took me a couple weeks, but he doesn't ever do it anymore to me. So he's done great. He's he's capable of a lot, even off leash if you decide to do that after later on down the road. Thank you very much, good boy.